Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be giving a tutorial regarding how to create 5.1 channel effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is the sample effect I have created and this is the main audio file of the clip and these are the additional 5 audio channels I have added to it to create a 5.1 channel effect. So let's begin the tutorial. First of all, I will go to file and select a new sequence. You can select NTSC mode, you can select the PAL mode or you can select the high definition mode. Out here I will be selecting the widescreen 48 kilohertz. And I will rename the sequence as 5.1 channel. Then I will be coming to these tracks. So video tracks I will be needing just one because I know I will be using only one video. So the main focus will be only on this audio part because we are working on the 5.1 channel. Uh, by default it is stereo. Stereo means you have got two channels that is the left and the right. And out here you can see there is two channels. But if I select 5.1 by default you have got these six channels. Now I can add a track or delete a track by using this plus and the minus button. I need to add three more tracks. so. I will be pressing the plus button twice. So I am having now six different types of channels. Then track. But there are eight different types of tracks available in Premiere. So for right now, I want my master channel to be 5.1. So the output will be having a 5.1 channel. I will click on OK. Now if you see this, I have got 6 layers of audio tracks and the output is 5.1. And before proceeding in the timeline, we will go to sequence and find out what is the channel format. So my channel format is 5.1 5 and the number of channel is 6 and the sample rate is 48 Hz. So this is ok for me. One last settings I need to check is that I will go to edit, preference and click on this audio. Now out here it's showing 5.1 mix down type and you have got the front only, front and rear, front and LFE, front plus rear plus LFE. LFE means low frequency effect. It means that any sounds that has got low frequency can be heard. So we'll be selecting the front, rear, plus LFE. Okay. Now my audio settings is complete. So now I just need to drag and drop all the audios in the audio layer to create the 5.1 channel. So I have selected a clip from the film Den of Tips and I have just set the in point and out point of the clip and then I just drag it down. So it's asking for change in sequence settings because my NTSC format is different from this video clip. So I will change the sequence settings. Now it will automatically fit in my program monitor. Now I will play this audio layer for you so that you can find out the difference between the starting and the end effect. In this audio there is very less 5.1 surrounding effect so we will be adding more gun swords. To create this 5.1 effect for that i have downloaded some audio files of gunfire and voices so i will just fix the timeline first from where the gun source begins 
and then I will start just putting this effect. Just move my timeliner, then again I will drag only the audio. Then you will have the feeling of consorts being coming out from your surrounding. So right now if I play the clip it will play both in the left and right. Now out here it's playing both left and right because I haven't done anything in the settings. So in order to create the 5.1 channels I will be activating this audio track mixer. If you don't find the audio mixers in your project window, then you can go to this audio track mixer. Out here it's showing 5.1 channel. So I'll be selecting this 5.1 channel. So when I open the audio track mixer, this panel opens up. Now I will be explaining what is this track all about and how it will be helping us to create the 5.1 channel. Now if you see this there are four semicircle in the corners and one in the front. So I'll be explaining what is this all about. Now this corner is known as the left front. This corner is known as the right front. This is the rear left and this is the rear right. It means it will play behind my back and this is the center front. That means I can create audio for the left front speaker. This is the right front speaker. This is the left back speaker. And this is the right back speaker. And you can see the small white balls around. So this will be helping us to create the 5.1 channel. I can drag it around and if I want to bring it back in the center, I will just double click it will come back in the center so this track mixer is for this first layer that is for the main audio clip of the video so we will be starting from this second audio clip so we'll select the second audio clip I can specify it in which speaker should I let this second track play so if I want this on the left front I will just click on the ball and then drag it to the left corner then again the third audio layer now this is my third audio layer I want it to play in the rear left then the fourth audio layer I want it to play in the front right then the fifth audio layer I want it to play in the right back then the last audio layer I want it to play in the center front so I have got like five different channels this will play in the center the main audio clip then the first audio clip will be playing in the left front the third audio clip will be playing in the left rear the fourth audio clip will be playing in the front right the fifth audio layer will be playing in the rear back and the last audio layer will be playing in the center front so now we'll be having different sound effects from the front from the left from the rear back right from the rear back left so now I will just do the playback and you will hear the different sounds coming in from different layers If you have a 5.1 speaker connected to your uh, system then you will be hearing all these 5.1 channels but in a laptop or a desktop you will be hearing the audio layer one because it's in the center it will be playing both in the left and the right you will be hearing the front left and the front right this rear left will be playing in the left channel and the rear right will be playing in the right channel of course you'll be hearing this front 
because it's playing in the from the front side you can't exactly figure out the different sounds but you will be able to figure out that my audio is playing either from the left side of the speaker or the right side of the speakers but if you really connect it to this to a 5.1 channel you will be getting all the 5.1 sound effect i will just set the output point by pressing the o button and then i will go to file export or i can press the button ctrl m format you can select accordingly what you want i want an mp4 format so i'll be selecting h.264 then i'll be exporting both audio and video out here i will be selecting this audio and it says sample rate we have taken 48000 hertz in the beginning itself and it's okay for me and the channel out here is showing stereo and since we have created a 5.1 channel effect so we'll be selecting 5.1 so we'll be having a 5.1 channel output effect i will just press the button export so it will get rendered and then it will get export so my file has been exported so i'll be playing the audio clip for you So you already heard multiple gunshot effects in the video. So this is how we create 5.1 audio effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you guys for watching my channel. Please like it, share it and subscribe it and put some comments in the comment sections.